There you go, all right, kill it. Man. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so a few months ago, I learned that someone I knew very, very long ago, I was maybe six or seven, and he was five, he died all of a sudden. And to be honest, I haven't thought about him or spoken to him since I was six or seven. So it was very strange for me. It was like a puzzle piece plucked, you know, out of my past and just thrown away. And it's, it was very... Um, just like I was on uneven ground, suddenly, you know, I could die next. My house could burn down, my parents could die, I could get into a car crash, I could fall down the stairs and break both my legs. Anything could happen. I was like, oh my God, this is, this is too much. I gotta, I gotta watch a cartoon. So I go and I, I turn on this uh, CGI movie and it's called Leap and it's a very, ugly movie. Um, it's like sort of CGI 3D and they have these really realistic human faces on these tiny cartoon bodies and it's a little disturbing to see. But aside from that, it's a movie about ballet and when the young girl who's the, you know, the protagonist of the story, she's dancing, it becomes very beautiful and it really spoke to me because um, for almost my whole life, ballet has been something in the back of my head that I think, oh man, I wish I did ballet when I was three, or I wish I started ballet and I could be a ballerina now. But as I was watching the movie, I was thinking, why not do it now? You know, I have the money, I have a job, and I could just go to a ballet class. And I was thinking, you know, okay, I'm 25 and I want to be a ballerina, so okay, why not? I'll, I'll do that. <laughs> so um, I go to Groupon.com and I start, <laughs> I start researching. I'm like, okay, I found a class and I, I, I do a little research. They have uh, absolute beginner and basic beginner and advanced beginner and then intermediate and then you can become, I guess, mid-level ballerina after all those classes. So I think, okay, I'm gonna do a basic ballet, basic beginner, which is a step up from absolute beginner because, you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a spry little pony. I think I could keep up, you know? It, it, it's not, it's not gonna be, you know, it'll be fine. So anyways, I rush into class and I go in and it's this little studio with, you know, mirrors on one wall and bars down the center. And I, and I rush in and immediately I notice everyone is, you know, very beautiful and they're in the middle of their exercises. And I don't know much, but I do know the difference between a basic ballerina and a professional ballerina. And everyone in that class was like a professional prima ballerina. And I don't understand. It's like, these were the people who had done ballet in their youth when they were like 16 and they had to stop. And now they're back 10 years later to, you know, put on their, their point shoes again and dance. And I'm like, oh my God, what have I done? But anyways, I just jumped in and I start doing the dances, doing the exercises, and it's so hard and it's so fast, and I don't know what I'm doing. The teacher is saying all these words, passe, relevé, tendu, you know, plié, and I'm like, oh, oh my God, I'm, like, I can't. And everyone, everyone around me is beautiful. They're like falling snow and so graceful. And, and I'm like sticks and rocks and I can't move, okay? And the teacher, she's looking at me and she's like, okay, calm down. She doesn't recognize, so she knows I'm new. She's like, okay, slow down. But I don't hear her because of all the blood rushing to my head <laughs> because I had attempted to touch my toes, which I haven't done. So I'm like, oh, oh. <laughs> so, <sighs> so by the end of class, I'm like, oh my God, I'm gonna have to call an Uber. I'm not gonna make it home. <laughs> They're gonna find my body on West Third Street, buried under like three inches of snow. I'm, I'm done, it's over, my legs are gone. <laughs> but I make it home, and I, and I go to the class, you know, the day after, because the Groupon was for five classes. <laughs> and, and, you know, <laughs> I can't be wasting money like that, not in this economy, I gotta go back to the class and complete it. And as I'm, as I'm doing, you know, completing the Groupon, I'm looking for a little inspiration. So I look up ballerinas who started late, and I... <laughs> 
and I, uh, I look up, I find Misty Copeland, and she's another black ballerina, and she's famous because she started uh, much later than um, all the other professional ballerinas, so I start doing research into her. I'm like, okay, how late did she start? It says Misty Copeland started ballet extremely late at the, at the age of 13. I'm like, oh, <laughs> I'm done, <laughs> it's over. You gotta take me out back. I'm going to the pasture in the sky. I'm already dead. I'm 25. She's 13. So uh, here I am, uh, six months later, and I'm doing about three classes a week. <laughs> you know, uh, trying, you know, trying to get my my body in order. And it's, it's very frustrating now. It's still frustrating because I know what all the moves are supposed to look like, but I can't do them with this body I have, this ancient 25-year-old body. <laughs> but I am making progress little by little, and it's very encouraging um, with something as hard and difficult as ballet to see myself getting better. Um, you know, it's, it's rewarding. So here I am, and I can just, you know, six months, six months later, and I can just barely sort of graze my toes with the longest nails on my fingers, you know, sort of brush them like a fairy's kiss, very lightly. And um, I know what all the ballet terms are, and, you know, I can't do them, but I can tell you what they're supposed to look like. And I realize I have many more years to go before I'm going to be, you know, I can show off and show my ballet skills, but, you know, here I am, and I'm alive. Thank you.